Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Asus ZenBook S14 UX5406. To open this thin notebook, you have to undo 10 Torx head screws. If you are brave enough, the easiest way to pop the bottom is to start from the cutouts. Don't insert the plastic tool horizontally because you'll damage the speakers. Insert a thin plastic tool at a 45 degree angle. Its top side should point at the inside of the bottom panel. Insert the tool as deep as possible and lift it up. This will pop half of the plate. Then, pop the rest of the sides and work your way around the back and the front. The other possible method is to pry the top two edges, but you have to push hard because the internal clips are super stiff. After that, you must pop the back sides, and front. On the inside of the bottom panel, there is a pair of dust filters for the fans. The laptop has a 72-watt-hour model. To take it out, you have to remove the plastic shroud on the upper side that covers the battery connector. Undo the three Phillips head screws on the top, as well as the two on the bottom of the battery. Wear gloves to avoid short circuits. The capacity is enough for 16 hours of video playback. That's a great result considering the high-res OLED screen. To achieve that, you have to apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu, select the standard fan mode, and use the dynamic refresh rate option in the MyAsus app. Now, you can lift up the plastic cover. On the battery connector, slide the metal clip up and then remove the battery plug. The memory is soldered. You can order this laptop with 16 or 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X, 8,533 megahertz RAM that works in dual channel mode. The Wi-Fi card isn't replaceable as well. In terms of storage, you get just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe drive is additionally cooled by a long thermal pad on top, which makes contact with the metal bottom plate. The thin vapor chamber cooling has two fans and a pair of top-mounted heat sinks. The removal of the thermal system doesn't seem complicated, so let's give it a try. You have to undo nine Phillips head screws, three at the center around the SOC, and another three close by each fan. You can solely remove the cooling without the fans. If you want to do it this way, don't remove the two screws on the sides of the fans.
Use a lever tool to carefully pry the vapor chamber unit and lift it away from the chassis. Unplug the fan connectors. The Wi-Fi card cables are blocking the left fan ribbon connector. You might need to disconnect them to access it. Now we can see the SOC and the two RAM chips on the sides that have pre-applied soft thermal interface material, also known as thermal putty, which is also used for other components around the CPU.